if I want to clear my name and I want to mention someone who has done wrong to me, someone who has oppressed me, someone who has actually stolen something from me, imagine you go to report a thief and you arrive there and you say, you know, someone came and did something. But I can't say anything because if I mention their name, it will be backbiting. And if I tell you what they did, then they wouldn't like it if, I, if they were present here. So it's called backbiting. No, no, that's a misunderstanding. Yes, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu says, ذِكْرُكَ أَخَاكَ بِمَا يَكْرَهُ غِيبَ or backbiting is to mention your brother in his absence with something he wouldn't like if he heard it or if he were there. So when it comes to someone who is wronged, then there is no backbiting regarding speaking about the wrong that happened to you with the name of the person. For as long as you are the first party, the second party, that's it. It happened between two people and the one who was wronged is speaking. It's not like you heard what happened to so-and-so. No, I don't need to hear what happened to so-and-so. But so-and-so says, do you know what happened to me? then that's not backbiting because you're mentioning something in order either to report it, to let others know, in order that they may save themselves from, this, from similar harm. So if someone stole something from you or you did a very, very, uh, you know, you did a big business deal and it went wrong because of the usurping of your wealth by another person, you may want to clarify to others that be careful of doing business with this person because they're not so upright because of what happened to me. And you can give them every detail and that's not backbiting. The same would apply if someone is getting married and they ask you about your ex-spouse. If it is just differences, that you may have had, uh, you can say, look, she was a good person or he was a good person, but we were very incompatible, two totally different people. Perhaps Allah may give you goodness with him or with her. Subhanallah. Very few people would do that. The companions used to do that. May peace be upon them. So, however, if it was something more detailed and you know that this person is a drug addict, it's very important to mention this. Don't deceive people, especially when they've asked you. Because if someone asks you, please, can you tell me about your ex husband? Why did you guys break up? And if you just mention, look, I don't like to talk about it. He was a reasonable person, but he had a problem with substance abuse. That's it. We said nothing more. Is it backbiting? No, because it happened to you and someone is asking you about something in order to save them from that harm. Imagine getting married to someone and you knew all along that this person was, for example, uh, involved in something really nasty. It was so simple for you to tell us if we asked you. If we didn't ask you, you're not obliged to let them know. You might look like a fool because they might want that person even with the weakness. Well, once you've told them what it is after they've asked you, it's up to them to make their minds up. 